All right, welcome back. It's XYOQ on the mic. We'll get it at Kai. We're yeah, we're pretty deep in there. This, this is semis, isn't it? This is winners finals. All right, we're we're on the winner's side. You know what? Top twelve in this tournament. Good enough for me. Lost my voice a little bit because I was freaking out. <laughs> Top 12 is good enough for me, man. All right, I'm, I'm just pumped for Ta. I just want to see them dunks. I mean, I'm going to stay right, unbiased. Like... Here we go. This right. is Ta versus Kai. Uh, this is winner's finals. Yeah, winner's finals. You're both very, very good players. And it's interesting, Kai normally you know plays Sonic, but I think he's opting for Diddy because he doesn't like the Marth matchup very much. Yeah, the, the, the range, <laughs> Karma would say it was a... A fast version of Marth, but Marth will quickly outspace Sonic. Yeah, in the absolutely. Week. That's one of Sonic's core weaknesses is that you know he whacks that range. Fact, Oddly that, enough, another person that Sonic is afraid of is Diddy Kong. So, both Sonic haters up in here. Ooh. Nice forward smash. We'll seal that stock out. Looks really clean. Looks really clean. Todd's just playing his game. Yeah, space it out. Kai really it, needs to get something going with his bananas. There's one uh, Diddy player on the forums who said something very true. Yeah, is that Diddy Kong with a banana is like top five character without it. He's like mid tier at best. And I haven't seen any pop guns. Pop guns set. Ooh, ooh, nice read. forward smash. And we are back to an. I, I was game. just reading his get up. Nice, nice, good timing. Nothing you can do once he started that get up. I want to see some more pop gun from Kai. Here we have the bananas getting going, slipping back and forth, getting some nice damage off that. I like Ty's option. A lot of people pick up the banana. They just try to, you know, I could wave dash, pick that up, but uh, it's better to just avoid it. Just zone him out from his banana, stop him from having his advantage. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily better, but it, you, there's definitely merit to it. It's an option. You can either weave it there, or you can uh, do some aerial glide toss. Marsh has one of the and... slowest throws in the game. Did you know that? Yeah. His throw looks no, it's terrible. Yeah. You never catch anything as Marsh. You'll have a bad time. You can still drop it though. Oh, but, I think that was technical error. You could have gone right into up B and gotten on. Definitely. No, it's actually fairly laggy. It's hard to go into up B from down B. I don't think he could have recovered from it. 3.0, absolutely. No yeah, question. Yeah, 3.0 for he sure. He could have, he wouldn't have even had to jump or down to B, tell. just up B. I say but, this uh, way, they're there, I'm here, so let them make the good decisions they know to make, so. That's such a close game, and it's just trading hits back and forth. No players really landing too much of a solid hit. Just repeated glancing blows, trading back and forth. Haven't seen much mind games. The players are, are ooh, there's the oh. mind games. That read says you're gonna come He's here. Going for the pop gun gimp, but ta, ta execute. Pop gun has weaves through it. Like such a good knockback now in 3.5. The pop back, pop gun knockback is real. Not to be underestimated at all. Such tension. Yeah, he wants they're, to get They're both going so aggressive, but they're both playing. When one's on defense and the other's on offense, one on defense is playing so well. One thing I will say though, Kai has made like three or four hard reads, and only two of them paid off pretty strategically. dramatically. <clears throat> Ty needs to stop being such a book, and there it is. Oh, and Walk right back out. to an even game. This, yep. the game is reset to even stock low percent. I think three times now. If you don't include the the. The start. It definitely proves that these two deserve to be in winners finals. There's no fluke here. There wasn't an easy side of the bracket. These guys are actually just yeah, playing absolutely. at each other's levels for sure. We have a stack bracket. Oh, today, not, too. These bananas, like I was saying before, he is making excellent use of this banana. It's really deciding when it, if he has the banana, he seems to be winning every time. But if he doesn't have that banana, he really struggles. Right now, Mart's gonna have a oh that oh, could I don't think banana he can't get sells back. it out. And that is going to be game one yeah. for Kai with an there, excellent banana game. That was option coverage real. That, that really was. If he upbeat early, you could kill him. If he didn't, he gets up with banana. If he tries to air dodge, you could hit him with forward smash. Every option covered fantastic. Absolutely, yeah. So where do you think we're going to I, I, I imagine the Yoshi story, of course, is getting banned. So All the, the, the traditional Marth stages. Tipper platforming. So we're yeah, talking so about Battlefield. We're talking about... Zone. Interesting choice. I'm not sure I like I, this. I don't know if I like it either. Because... Go I feel you, like this is really good for the banana. Yeah, go where you're comfortable, though. If Ta knows something I don't, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, the platform does provide tippers only at the bottom. I figured he'd just want the, the free money that comes off of, like, PM Stadium and Battlefield. Looks like he just wants to get the space closed down. He wants he want, doesn't want a Diddy to roam around. So he, he picked a nice, tight, small map. Diddy cannot roam anywhere. Oh, unfortunately, he goes for <laughs> the aerial glide toss, but he doesn't air dodge in time and just throws it straight down to his death. Yep, and that that any other stage, there would have been enough stage left for him to side B, no big deal. But I guess Todd picked the right stage. 
makes some of those options look a lot less desirable for Diddy. His bananas, though, he's, he's, he's teching into the banana the stream. He's teching into the banana stream. He needs to read it. But he does not have a banana anymore. He is now a low tier character, but he's got it back. He got Marth off stage. If he isn't a stock deficit, he will even it back up. Significant 64% lead, though, for Diddy Kong. It covers so many options with that banana. Taj is really getting good at just throwing forward smash into the gaps between Diddy's pressure. And it's really seemed to be paying off for Kai, or he, against he, Kai. It's all like pokes. It's never a combo. He can't clean it up. Yeah, we, both. We've seen Ty cleaning up with combos earlier. Beautiful combos, by the way. He can't do it in here. Uh, Kaz's uh, DI is just too good. Oh, and he Ooh. jumps into the fully charged forward smash. Thought he had a read. No read available. Read error on disc. Gets the F smash into the slip. Nice yeah. side B, and oh, he goes for that F smash on getup again, but gets punished for it. This could be the stock backwards and air sends him off stage. He's doing really easy options to control the stage, but that was a really good jetpack, a really instant jetpack just for the dash attack. Jetpack, yeah. I'm just. Probably, it's just like such a back and forth chip battle. One, you know, player lands one or two hits, and the other player wants, lands one or two hits. And, and whoever no, lands the hit slightly better, it just takes advantage. Both of them, neither of them wants to be patient. They're, they're, I'm not saying there's no thoughtfulness, because these guys are really high tier, high tier players, but like, they're just going in. No campy styles, no, no mind games, just in. Absolutely. Can you block this? Good luck. I think it's oh, because... Oh, with the jetpack, yeah. I think it's because uh, Taj is going in because he doesn't want Kai to be able to set up with bananas and stuff like that. <laughs> and Kai thinks that uh, Taj is going to win a more slow and steady game with his Marth. But here we're... There we go. That was a very nice combo string that sets him up with a nice lead over Taj. Yep. And this is three out of five, so Taj still gets to make some adjustments if this does not work out. So don't count our boy Taj out yet. Yeah. Taj is one of those players I absolutely think is great at making adjustments. I think that is really going to play a big part in this game. I, I think game three is going to look much oh, different than game two. He was reacting. That was just a read. Tries to walk it out into reverse F smash. Does not get it. Del Diddy has to respect that uh, forward smash so much. He's just dodging at forward smash tipper range. Diddy's a rough nothing. one to gimp. He has to clean this up quick. Diddy tried to actually DI it back to get him with a dunk. Oh my god. Such good awareness. It's amazing watching this in 3.5 because I know when he landed that grab, like if this were 3.0, that was it. That was a yeah. grab, but it looks like Kai is going to take game two as well. Game two. What's the adjustments? I think he's going to want a different stage. I don't think Green Hill will work for him at all. I think he's going to want platforms. But he's oh, taking it right back to Green Hill. Back. I, 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 I think better. he just thinks this you know is what, the, the I will best say, chance he has. Did he shield drops are pretty amazing. Did he shield drop Nair? Did he shield drop uh, forward air? Those are pretty amazing moves. Maybe he just does not want to subject himself to that. Just wants to play him in a heads Maybe. up game. And didn't want him to have any space, otherwise he would have chose FD. He's just having such a hard time getting around this bananas. Like, he's playing the neutral like he would against a normal character, but the bananas are making it really hard to keep up that dash dance game. And I think it would really help him to have platforms to get around that, but... What do you... Oh, really, I would have... Wow. But there we have another Diddy SD, but... That, I will count that as an SD. That was just misplay. Holding on to Diddy's banana, making sure he has no control of it. Yeah, gives it back to him. Oh, and he counters just... Split second to that run up side B is actually pretty tough. You actually dash dance away for a moment to get the run up side B correct. Otherwise, the wind up will absolutely do you. Uh, looks like really, really tough. Looks like Ta is starting to get uh, get used to these uh, forward smashes. He seems to understand exactly when Ta is thrown out. Pretty much every time he's coming up from ledge, he, he charges out a forward smash. He's playing a little more patient too. He got punished for it right there. But oh, that's a stock. That's a stock, yeah. And right now, solid full stock lead by Ta. That we second hit from the fair, I didn't even know how he got it. It didn't make any sense to me. Soft fair into soft fair gets the kill. Yeah, I think it was because uh, Kai you know, knew he didn't have a jump, so he was just trying to DI the stage as much as possible, but that turned out to be a mistake. That's another That's stock. Another He's stock. just That's really... completely on his own. If that were 3.0, you could side... He has side... a wall stick, he has a wall... Maybe he has wall stick, wall jump, he could do a lot. I don't know why he's side being into the wall. Yeah, that doesn't work in 3.5. If you just hold up B... You think that's definitely... it? He hasn't played me 3.5? No, I just... Oh, that's Ta like we it know Ta. Be... That's Ta like we know Ta. And 
coming back from uh, getting 2 0 at first for a dominating three stock. Don't it? forget that those three stocks were Diddy, though. If Diddy just keeps himself together this game. Looks like. They're talking out. They, 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 he got so salty. Did he just a button pressing check a. there, yeah. <laughs> As I say, it's very interesting, you know, picking Pokemon Stadium 2 without strikes, but whatever, I'll just run with it. That's what they're doing. I think I know why we need the water now. Yeah. Mister, I'm going to, like, run around and play games and have fun instead of I was burning your throat. I was yelling during match, but there's no reason I should have won. I three star. No reason for it. For like, stop losing to me. What are you doing? <laughs> I was so confused. Especially, like, I killed him at 40. Like... F smash? He didn't yeah. die. I was like, yeah, it'll just let's finish the set. This is this is winners finals. Yeah. yeah. How far did you make it? Uh, if I was to lose right now, I'd be better. I got um twelve. One more. All right, let's say we're heading to Norfair. Yeah. I really like this pick by Kai. It, uh, it'll set up excellent there. place for banana control. Give him platforms to use to help him deal with being above Marth, but at the same time, it won't really help Marth get around the bananas. I I think it will. And the, the oh, those those these are kind of weird platforms because like right ones in Tipper Range, the left ones looking a lot like Dreamland right now. But they move around so much you yeah. can't rely on it. Most so, of the time, they aren't in Marth's favor. But it's like the PM Fountain of Dreams. I know huh. there is Fountain of Dreams in PM, but this is like that map where like you have to know where you're gonna be when these platforms move. Ta really looks like he has turned it up since the last game. This yeah. is not the same Marth I was watching in game one and two. Just like I said, I game two was not the same as game three. He made at the adjustments. All. I also thought he should always have platforms. His counter picks confused me. Trying to deprive Diddy of his banana. He's playing a very patient game comparatively. He's not just all going in. He's just he's yeah. choosing his times. Down dodge battle. Marth is, you know, it's not the best platform for him, but it, he is managing to uh, use this platform very well to help. It's, it's the humongous wave the lanes. So his mobility goes up like tenfold in stages like this. Look at those wave lanes just like, giving him yeah. mobility. Oh, Terrible and choice. A nice banana to fair, seal the stock. This is the same position we saw Kai in, in game two, except now he got a forward air to F smash. He, Seems like he's really struggling with uh, DIing away from Marth's quick moves. He keeps he's, getting hit by that F smash. He's not getting the reads like second to second. He's just reading the playstyle of Kaj, and it's it's, yeah. it's destroying him. Combo string started up. Platform actually stopped it, which is what I'm talking about. Oh, this that is was not such a nice combo breaker. That was not what I would have done at all, but it worked out very well. Good job. He That's just one keeps of my reading the rolls. I feel like Todd. You say it a lot, but I feel like this is really true that Ta is really in Kai's head right now. Ooh, man. These platforms are not playing with his hand. Yeah. I would have salty run back to freaking Green Hill, but it was... Yeah, scary. I think that was one of actually Kai's best stages. I think FD. FD for sure. I think that was banned. FD was banned? Yeah. It makes sense. It makes sense. Ooh, didn't get that read. Uh, Kai is just... Ta is just... On top of every option Kai has. You just... see that weight? Oh, I was so excited for that weight, but uh, it didn't pay out. It's like, Marth He's... will get back to stage. Oh, wow. The that was gets... almost frame perfect. Yep. One frame greater on that roll, and he would not have been able to make it back. And once again, he comes out of the halo and punishes Kaj. Kaj. Absolutely punishes the punishes. get up again. Kaj he... has got to decide what he's going to do while Marth's got invincibility, because it's not working out right now. Ta's reading level just went down a little bit. <laughs> Maybe like second grade now. Yeah. Ta is just... He just knows what Diddy's gonna do. And that's really the story of this game right now. He's not playing better mechanically, he's not throwing out better options, but he just seems to know that Diddy's gonna do this. But we have a game right now. 40% with Deep Kong. Deep Kong's hard as heck to kill if he does not want to die. So this is a close game in my opinion. Nice banana. He's, he's got that banana. Oh, and he grabs it. That banana is now in his favor. Say Marth definitely oh, in the lead right now. Gets a nice job. tipper F smash off stage. That was really that could good. Be it. Oh, oh, he goes back, way back. Just a bit too far back. 
And uh, the, the neutral is now up for grabs again. No one's in control of this match right now. Todd, Todd nice takes snare. control. Throws the banana in the opposite direction. I don't agree with that dancing blade. He went for the crouch cancel canceler, but it's Todd, too high percentage. Todd loses the stock. This will be it for his winner's bracket. He will be oh, yeah, in this a is loser's not finals. Stock. Oh, and then out game five. knocks it out. We are going, going to game, to game five. five. I kind of expected this after... Uh, after game one, honestly. But all, all said, it seemed like somewhere in there, Kaj figured out what Ta was doing and started started getting back out, clawing back in. Dude, just go for flat. Yeah. Go for flat, man. So I, I, I think he's going to pick a similar stage. Oh, he's going back to Norfair. See, I... These platforms aren't paying for it. For his game. Oh, Ta almost critical error. You see, these, this Taz actually avoiding range game with that platform. It's odd. It feels like these characters are like counter picking for each other. It is. It's very like, strange. Green Hill would be such a good stage for Diddy. Bad DI from Kaj, and he gets punished for it. Not a conversion though. Todd not able to convert with that. D uh, Diddy is so good at using his side B to get out of that. Uh, Martha's going to destroy you zone uh, when you're straight above yep. him. Kaj made the adjustment on his DI right there, uh, not falling for the forward throw at there or F smash. He's got him on stage, but he just gives him he just gives him stage back. Todd is so good at grabbing these peanuts out of there. I think that's the main problem with peanuts. Why it's not that great? It's because you can't just catch it. Yeah, it's, it's an item. I like it right I, back. I like using him like Falco laser. Approach with him. Don't just shoot. Just approach with him. He's just shooting and standing. Ooh. Oh, and that nice forwarder is going to seal the stock high with a, an Kyle's early looking. lead. Taj looking to respond. I mean, those nice banana, banana trips keeping Ta off balance. Interesting option. I like creativity. It didn't pay out. Uh, here it's looking like the opposite. Every time uh, Ta is throwing out a, a smash attack, Kai is rolling right behind him. He seems to know exactly what Ta's going to do. I think Taj has made his adjustments. Both players are now adapt to, adapted to each other. Who's going to come out? I have no clue. I, it seems like it reset. Like, first, you know, Ta wasn't adjusted to Kai, and then, you know, Kai, or Ta adjusted to Kai, and then Kai adjusted to Ta's adjustments to Kai. It's crazy. This is high level mind games, then. That's yeah. really all you can say about it. He needs to clean the stock up quick. Oh, that banana was questionable. Thank God he didn't eat a forward smash for it. Tries to, oh, the shield there. option. The out of now shield we have a two option. Two-stock lead. Yeah, two-stock lead. Out of shield option not paying off from Marth. It looked like it voted what I would have chosen was that out of shield option, so. And this banana is just feels like Todd just doesn't know how to deal with Kai right now with his bananas, but that's a nice F smash. It's gonna bring it. It's only a one-stock game. He can't give Diddy, but I've seen him go on runs. So let's see if he can go on one of those awesome tie runs right now. Ta runs right now. He is going to need to land a solid hit. I think a grab could do it if he just lands the tech He's he fish. keeps trying to he keeps trying to punish bad DI or miss techs. Yep. But I think he really needs to just try to punish the tech. He's at 17% and up throw not very harmful. Up throw and uh, up tilt real talk that's going to actually convert some damage. Remember in game one we were talking about both players not really landing solid hits and comboing at each other. Well now that is completely different. Diddy is running away with these strings. And Todd Ta, Todd's losing his combo game. You see him rolling a lot, and instead of him being punished by Diddy, he's being punished by the banana for his rolls. Nice forward air. He can get back from this. I surprise Oh, an excellent get, but I don't think Diddy can get back, back from that, no. That's fine. He is not the deep Kong we knew and hated from 3.0. Ta is on his winner stock right now. He's going to be going down to L bracket if he can't make something change right now. I like him These tilting grabs his shield. are exactly what he needs, but he keeps trying to punish Miss Tex, and that's not working out for him. He's got to go back to that patient game that he created in game two. I think game three he created this patience game that just won him the game. Just, just definitively. Yeah, it definitely seems like Kai is having stage control like pretty much the entire game. And his counter pick is starting to look like the counter pick for sure. He's still at a good percentage. If Mars can convert right now, he's still in this game very good. Oh, and oh. a very subtle fadeaway there. That would have been a tipper, but he held back right before it landed, and that uh, can't did. take anymore. 
about 130. He really can't save himself from Denny's forward air. Yeah, keep on. all this is just extra credit for Kai right now. Because however much damage he racks on right now is how much damage his opponent will have. And oh, no DIing that right to the corner, but he still gets that KO'd. And excellent. Game five, uh, Kai will move on to grand finals. Frank Fresh was talking about no DI in those situations. Just let yourself drift as far into the corner as possible. It's so hard, though. It's hard to recognize when you have to do that. 